we've got a really fun recipe today. We're taking an American favorite, tater tots, and we're gonna crank them up with some chorizo, with some tomatoes. We're gonna make like a Mexican themed loaded tater tot. And you gotta see how we finish these off. We're gonna make up a avocado crema. It's gonna be so much fun. Let's get going. I've got some sharp cheddar cheese here. This is an eight ounce block. I would encourage you to shred your own cheese. That prepackaged stuff, not so great compared to this. We've got our cheese all shredded up. Let's get it out of the way. Now I've got some green onions. But they've been in the fridge all week, so they're starting to get a little, uh, you might call them limp, wimpy down here on this end. But I'm not going to waste them. Right, let's get our onion, green onion out of the way. And then I'm going to come in. You can see here, this is a small red onion. I like to chop this up fairly fine. Red onion can be a little strong, you know. And that's going to be plenty. I'm not going to use this other half. We'll have too much onion. Now I've got jalapeno you knew I was going to have one of these we'll just slice it up as well and then dice it just get our jalapeno out of the way then we're going to come in I got some tomatoes I don't know we'll just play it by ear I'll use two or three just kind of uh, look when we're, when we're done to see how much is chopped up. It looks like two tomatoes is going to be plenty. We're going to get our vegetables, fruits out of the way. Let's get to this crema. We've got two ripe avocados. Teaspoon and a half of minced garlic. I've got one cup sour cream get all these goodies in here we've got about a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt and about the same of cracked black pepper and you want to come in with the juice and I don't have one of those cool juicers of two limes now if you have one lime well I shouldn't say if you have one lime if you have a big lime one will be enough but mine are itty bitty. So like I say, choose from two limes, two small limes. And then we just want to blend it up. We've got a 28 ounce bag of tater tots here. We got some olive oil, the spray kind, just as quicker and easier. Now we've got some taco seasoning. Just going to come in, I'm not going to use this whole one ounce. Just sprinkle these tater tots up a little bit with some taco seasoning. Like I say, it doesn't take much at all. Depends on how many tater tots you got, of course. Now let's get these over to the grill. You can see we're just shy of 350, probably around 325. 350 to 375 is fine. Uh-oh, my pan is too big but I'm gonna make it work. So one pound of chorizo here. I did remove the casing. It's getting close to getting done. So I'm gonna add in one tablespoon, two tablespoons. Let's try three tablespoons of barbecue sauce. Hey, just pick your favorite. And I think what I'm going to do is come back in one, Two more. Four to five tablespoons. You can see I wasn't measuring. I'm just looking for, you know, that little bit of like, uh, you know, like chili sauce look, except we're using barbecue sauce. Now when I make chorizo, I always like to drain it. Chorizo can be a little greasy. So I'll just put it on these paper towels, let it drain a little bit while our tater tots are getting ready. 
All right, it's been about 20 minutes. You can see our tater tots have gotten brown. Getting a little flare up. Hopefully I can uh, finish this without shutting the lid. We're just going to spread that whole pound of chorizo goodness over these tater tots. Now I'm going to come in with that jalapeno. Now look, you could have put this in with the chorizo if you wanted, but I like the crunch. So that's why I didn't put it in with that chorizo, right? And then here's our green onion coming right in top. And the rest of our red onion. Remember, we put about half of it in with the chorizo. And then our tomatoes. I'm only going to put about half our tomatoes in. And then we had uh, eight ounces of cheddar cheese, right? We're going with all that cheese. Now let me get the lid down to get this fire out. And I'm hoping everything goes back to normal. Hey, it's been about five more minutes. The tots are all cheesed up. Looking pretty cheesy, pretty delicious. We got our tots all plated up. Now we're going to come back in with that same barbecue sauce. Let's hit it up with that crema we made. And the final thing I'm going to do is hit it up with this Mej La Cajete hot sauce. You don't have this, use sriracha. There we go. Let's do a taste test. It looks freaking incredible. So we ran our grill between 350 and 375. We put those tots on the grill. We let them cook 20 minutes so they were nice and brown. Then we put all of our cheese and chorizo and goodies on there. Let it go five more minutes just to get that cheese melty. Let's get us a good bite. Tater tots, crema, chorizo. I, I know, I know. It's too big. I can't help it. You like tater tots this one is for you you get that chorizo flavor the tots that crema is like a cool you know offset to it i'm getting a jalapeno maybe even some of that uh taco seasoning i'm getting a little a bite in there right and then of course we had that hot sauce we put on it as well so full of flavor you got to try this one out thanks so much for watching